Hi everybody, this video is my beginner's quick start guide to NVIDIA's uh, service that's just come out of beta, GeForce Now. What it does, what you can do with it, how to install it, how to get games and you know how to play games on it as well and what games you can play. So what does GeForce Now enable you to do? Well, it enables you to do this, not watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put, what you're seeing here in this video is a screen capture of me playing Armour 3 earlier on today on my old laptop. I say my old laptop, it's my current laptop, but I've had it for about four or five years, so I guess it's old. But it can't play games like this. It doesn't have a dedicated graphics chip. It couldn't play games when I first got it, and it definitely can't play games now. So... GeForce Now enables you to play high-end, high-demand PC games on old hardware, whether that be laptops or low-end hardware, whether it be laptops, PCs, Android phones, um, tablets, that sort of thing. All you need is the GeForce Now uh, app installed on your computer or your, your device and an internet connection. Now, the better the internet connection, the better the experience you'll have. I like to think of GeForce Now as a computer rental service. So what you're doing is, I mean, at the moment, it's free. You can try it for free. You can pay them, I think, £5.99 a month um, to become one of their founder members, which means that you get to the front of the queue when it comes to uh, playing games and you can play for longer but yeah I like to think of it as you're renting a high-end PC off Nvidia and it's sitting in their in their warehouse somewhere somewhere in Western Europe and then you're allowed to play your games on it and it's streaming those games across the internet to your device to your low-powered laptop you're playing it remotely it's a bit like you you are in fact kind of playing the game through a browser window but don't think of it like that just think of the computer that you're renting is somewhere you know it's, it's sitting somewhere in a warehouse and when you fire up GeForce now that is firing it up and then you can play now the beauty with GeForce now and the thing that definitely appeals to me is that you are not buying games through this service you're playing the games but you're not buying them you're not buying games off Nvidia um, or on some sort of GeForce Now platform. You're playing the games that you buy in Steam. Now, if you've been playing consoles all the time, you're not sure. You know, like when we are on our PlayStations or on our Xboxes, we have the PlayStation Store and we have the Xbox Store, the Microsoft Store, where you want when you want to buy a game digitally, you buy it on the PlayStation Store and that remembers that you've got that game and you can download it digitally, you know, to whatever PlayStation you've got or with the Xbox with the Xbox Store. You now, as you change change xboxes you can download it and it remembers all your saves remembers all your friends all that sort of stuff steam is the main pc game store for pcs there are others you've got like microsoft and you've got um bethesda and you've got ea have one um and you've got uplay as well but steam is the main one and geforce now talks to them and it allows you to install the games that you've bought on Steam to that computer that you've rented off them in that warehouse, and you can then play them. So, God forbid that NVIDIA's GeForce Now fails in six months, goes down the pan. They decide, actually, this isn't for us. We're not making enough money. We don't want to do it anymore. It doesn't matter, because all the money that you've invested in games is still there in your Steam catalogue, in your Steam library ready for someone for some other service to come along and offer you a streaming service and i'm pretty sure over the next few months there's going to be competing services um and i think that is very very powerful indeed now geforce now will also talk to ubisoft service and bethesda's service and epic games service and blizzard service as well however 
you can't play every single game on Steam and on those other services as well. At the moment, it's only compatible with, I say only, about 400 titles. And so when you want to install this, all you do is you search Google for GeForce Now. And I'll put the, put the link in the show notes down below. And you just go to the download link. And then you download. I mean, I would recommend trying this out on your on your laptop. Try it out on your PC, because you're mainly playing PC games, and so they work better, you know, with a mouse and keyboard. Or if you get your Xbox controller or your PlayStation controller and plug it into your laptop or PC using a USB lead, you know, you're going to have the best experience rather than trying to play these things on on uh, laptops and phones. And once you've installed it. You then fire up the app, and you, you get this. This is the GeForce Now app, how it looks now. And th this bit is a little bit clunky now. But what you do is you find your games that you already own, or even games that you think you might want to buy. So let's say, say World of Warships. Say I want to play that. I just search for World of Warships. There it is. World of Warships. Shall I add that to my library? Now, at the moment, GeForce Now doesn't check whether you actually own this game. <laughs> it just goes, all right, do you own this game, do you? And you just say, yeah, I do, yeah, cheers, mate. And it adds it to your library. doesn't mean you own it at all. It just means that GeForce Now goes, all right, okay, that's cool. And then when you want to play the game, you just click on play. And that will then open up a little version of Steam. And it will say, right, has this person got this game? And uh, Steam will go, yeah, it does. And you click play, and then it may well do like a little installation thing, or you may j jump straight into the game, and then you start playing it on your low powered laptop. And with a stable internet connection, it's actually pretty good. Now, what I recommend everybody does is you want to start off by going to Steam, install Steam, you know, open up your own account, you know. And then what you want to do, don't buy anything yet. You want to go and you want to search for Destiny 2. There we go. Because Destiny 2 is free to play and it's a triple A game, Destiny 2. It looks good and it will give you a great idea about whether your setup and your internet connection is going to be suitable for, um, for GeForce Now. Um, and give it a go and you will be very pleased I think as I was now one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was because I there's there's some PC games that you just can't get on um, you just can't get on console and the main one for me is armor and armor 3 and the ability to produce content about this military simulator from the people behind um, Daisy and Vigor and so I can do that. Now, I've alluded it to earlier. Now, most of these games, they're, they're PC games, so they work best on mouse and keyboard. So if you're a console, console player, you know, you're going to have to do a bit of adjusting. But as I say, PlayStation controllers and Xbox controllers are compatible with PCs now. So as long as you plug them in with a, a USB uh, cable, they will work. And, for example, games like Destiny work very, very well with an Xbox controller plugged into your, um, and into your laptop. Um, and you'll see the lack of uh, delay, the lack of input lag, which uh, surprised me a lot. So, there we go. Hopefully, with this video, I kind of explained what GeForce Now is. Think of it as a computer rental service. But as I say at the moment, it's free. You can try it for free. And what it does, it allows you to play the games that you have bought on Steam and some other platforms on that rented computer when you want to without the need to have to buy um without the need to have to buy a hot a, a hottie gamer rig yourself as i say it doesn't play loads it doesn't play all the games available on steam but it plays lots of them and as i say as well make sure you start off with destiny 2 don't download that see how you get on see if you like the feel of it and then you know you can then start investing in your PC game collection where you go into the Steam store and you think, oh, when's the next sale going to be? What am I going to buy? Okay, so if you've got any questions, put them down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.